A 15-year-old girl, who was found living in a wet market stall in Circuit Road for almost a year, seems to be coping well at a hospital, McPherson MP Tin Paling said. In a Facebook video on May 3, Miss Tin said she had visited the girl the previous day and was glad to know that she's coping well and seems healthy. She was happily showing us her new soft toys and also this Pokemon game card that another child patient in the same ward had given to her. She added. According to Miss Ting, the girl's father visits her regularly at the hospital. He is also assisting the police with investigations under the Children and Young Persons Act. Ms. Tin said that the Ministry of Social and Family Development MSF is trying to work out a longer-term care arrangement for the girl. There are a few options, but the best option is to provide a caring environment. She said, and MSF is reaching out to its foster network to try and provide foster care for the girl. In the clip, Ms. Tin also provided updates on the case but explained that she could not share some details as investigations are still underway and she needed to protect the girl's privacy. She said the National Environment Agency NEA conducted routine checks on April 3 and found that the girl had been living at a wet market stall, a circuit road market and food centre for the past 11 months. The NEA officer then reported the case to MSF's Child Protective Service and the girl was promptly taken under its care and admitted to a hospital for medical assessment, she added. The police and Miss Ting were also alerted to the case. Miss Ting said she was shocked by the discovery because she visited the market regularly, most recently during Chinese New Year, and did not notice anything unusual. Hawkers and patrons who frequented the food centre did not highlight any unusual observations either, she added. She said she understands the girl and her father are both permanent residents and live in the northern region of Singapore. As their home is quite far from the wet market and the father is a single parent, he made arrangements for her to live in that wet market stall. Now, clearly, this arrangement is not right. It's not conducive for the girl, she said adding that it is quite appalling. But based on what I have, what I know, perhaps the father was just doing what he thought was best for her given their circumstances. She said. She added that it has been heartbreaking for her, as a parent, to learn that a child lived in such conditions. She said that she will continue to keep in touch with the various agencies, as well as MSF, to check on the girl's well-being, to support the girl and her father. Miss Tin said that the incident is a reminder of how vulnerable children can be. We need to do a lot more to support. To protect, to care for children, especially those who are more vulnerable, she said. She urged the public to report possible cases of abuse and neglect to agencies or the police. And seek help. Although some reports may be false alarms, it is okay to be a bit more kiosu, she said. The public can call the National Anti-Violence and Sexual Harassment Helpline on 1-800-777-0000 or call the police. Ms. Ting also appealed to the public to consider fostering children and young people who could benefit greatly from proper care and receive the kind of love and warmth that they deserve. She said, for married couples out there, if you have love to spare and if you have enough resources to provide as well, please do consider signing up as a foster care family. According to MSF, there were 540 foster children and 614 foster families as at December 2023.